Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Ben Sweet Outdoors. Um, oh, so happy to uh, be out today. It's uh, like so quiet, windy, middle of autumn, in the UK, in the Surrey Hills, and I've just found these amazing little valley with these little pine, not little, quite big pine conifer type trees. And all around me, you can see them in the background there, these little white dots. It's one of my favorite mushrooms, the hedgehog mushroom. Let's go have a look. So I found some of these the other day, but not quite, not quite as many as these here. So look at these, Just I walked from the top of that hill and then I saw these trails of, of white white caps and these look like quite big ones they're a little bit moist but oh look at that beauty <sighs> look at that so what's amazing about these mushrooms is they are super super easy to identify if you're a beginner it's almost impossible to go wrong with these and i'll just show you here if i just Press the camera down for a second. So, with the beautiful hedgehogs, uh, the big difference between the hedgehogs and, you know, most other types of mushrooms is most other types of mushrooms have gills underneath where they release the pores out. But with hedgehogs, if you look closely, they don't have gills they have these little spikes. That's why they're called a hedgehog mushroom and these spikes do flake away. But this is what they have to, this is what, what their structure looks like, um, which they drop pores from, spores from. The other type is uh, to have pores. So you could have lots of, like almost like a flat surface with lots of little micro, little holes in, that's called pores. All the Belit family are in those, but there's only a few, few different types of these spiny mushrooms um, and they're all edible. And so this is the classic common hedgehog mushroom. This sort of color comes out, it's been out for, you know, mid to late summer, all the way through to autumn. So really, really good edible as well. So I've come out today, it's been dry for a couple of days, but there was a lot of rain before. So they're a little bit moist still, but these are some really good finds. So they smell quite pleasant, not like really strong mushroomy, but just quite almost like my nose isn't very good at smelling mushrooms at the best of times, but it's it's quite a pleasant, mild um, smell. It's not like, doesn't put you off or anything like that. So yeah, good luck and go and find some hedgehog mushrooms. So I'm gonna take some of these back and uh, cook them up, probably nice and simply. Um, I've got a batch in the fridge already actually from the other day, so I might do some Sliced mushrooms, garlic, rosemary, butter, oil, um, maybe just on some sourdough toast. Um, but I also want to do with these uh, just a, almost like a classic mushroomy, creamy, um, almost like stroganoff type thing. I, I don't really stick to recipes most of the time. So a lot of it's sort of just as I feel and go. So stay tuned and we'll do some nice cooking with these. Mwah. Let me, let, before we go actually, let me show you around this area because the ones I just showed you up there, you know, there's quite a lot there and I'll pick those in a sec. But if we just go round and under this log, look, there's another bat, big batch. Here's another lot. And if I go under here, there is still yet, blimey. Oh, look at these little numbers on here, these little, jelly-like things. I'm not sure what these are, but they're pretty cool. And look, there's another batch of the hedgehogs, a little bit more trampled on and eaten. But yeah, happy with that, what a good find. Only been walking for about 10 minutes. I'm trying to actually retrace my footsteps that Danny and I went on a walk here a few weeks back 
and in about 10 minutes time further up that trail um, along the path we just saw all of these porcini seps just bursting out of the, the little mound of a walkway along the side of the path and uh, one of the best set finds I've ever had so I'm retracing my steps who knows maybe maybe we'll see some more um, but it's already a winner of a day because I've just found a jackpot with uh, with these hedgehogs so it's time to put some in the basket Just trying to give them a bit of a clean before they go in the in the old basket. Well, in the little bag that I've got. Just so they don't get too muddy in transport. This big one. Bloody stabbed myself with the knife. <laughs> Too excited about mushrooms. Yeah, I'll probably have to wrap that up somehow. Sure, if I've got anything to uh, wrap 
wrap that up with. Oh yeah, tissue. Perfect. This is probably for a, a tactical toilet trip in the woods, this tissue. <laughs> it's coming in handy for something else. Okay. Uh, if only I had something to tighten that with. Oh yeah, perfect. Got everything in this bag. Not quite. Can use this elastic band. The trees are making lots of squeaks, squeaking noises. Right, can I figure out how to use an elastic band without being too tight? One more. That's probably too tight, but we'll leave it for now. Right, back to the mushroom. <laughs> Look at this beauty. An absolute giant of a, of a hedgehog. Where's the stem? Oh yeah, beauty. Let's try and just wiggle it. Oh, look at that. Absolute beast. <sighs> Little bug.